everybody, this is Tanya with Tanya's Motivational Minutes. Now, there's a reason. I want everybody before he jumps out of my arm to get a good look at this cat. You see him? His name is Tigger. Now, again, there's a reason why I'm doing a video, Tanya's Motivational Minutes, uh, September 1st with my cat Tigger in my arms. And he wants to jump out. He's like, leave me alone. But I want everybody to take a good look at his face. You see his face? And there's a reason. Uh, I want you guys to look at Tigger. Now, the name of this video is Do You Have Faith Enough to Go Through the Process? And before he gets down, look at his face one more time. See that? All right. Let me put him down. Do you have faith enough to go through the process? And this is about faith. See, many of you are going through the process and you don't have any faith. And without faith, let me tell you, you're going to sink. You're not going to swim. And th there's a reason I showed you Tigger. All right, you guys saw Tigger's face. Let me show you one more time. Here's Tigger's face. I want everybody to see Tiggy. Okay, you see him? You see him? He got two eyeballs. Y'all see that? All right. There's a reason I showed you Tigger. So let me tell you what I went through. And for those of you who have watched my videos, you know that I've been, this last year, for me personally, it's been a big transition, going through a divorce, uh, losing 35 pounds, you know. Um, but again, when you go through a process, you have to have faith. See, a lot of you have your eyes on a prize. You have your eyes on the end. But there's a process. And somebody told me this morning I listened to a motivational call, said there's no success without process. And I'm going to say that again. There's no success without process. Do you have the faith to go through the process? Now, here's why I showed you my cat. Many of you are in my Facebook group now, about 20,000 people in a Facebook group. And I think it was, yep, it was the very beginning of January. I get a phone call from my neighbor saying, your cat has got run over. Um, he saw the cat late at night. He didn't realize it was my cat. I got the phone call at 6 o'clock in the morning. I took Rush Tigger at 6 o'clock in the morning to the emergency hospital. His eyeball. Now, here's the reason I showed you his face. His eyeball was hanging out his head, okay? So a car must have hit the left side of his head. We don't know what happened because he never got x-rays in his mouth. Um, he was dying of hypothermia. Uh, so, um, $900 later, the vet basically said, hey, Miss Ortiz, um, just do the humane thing. Go ahead and um, put him down. Because if you don't, one, we're going to have to take out the eye. He's going to be blind in that eye, and it's hanging out. We're going to have to remove the eye. Two, Tigger's going to be brain dead. There's nothing going on. So the vet was telling me, and they had more than one vet, because I'm like, no, you know, I need to talk to somebody else. Three vets where it's like he's going to be brain dead and he's going to be blind. I know I had to go through this process and it makes me emotional to even think about this. So, you know, like I said, I was going through a divorce and, um, you know, a lot of times when we're going through things, our faith is not where it should be. And this was sharpening me. Or where I am today so this was like my muscle that had to strengthen my faith had to sharpen and uh, this is the my lesson because I always say everything can be a lesson or a blessing so you know here my marriage is starting to crumble um, and my faith was starting to wane so my cat gets uh, run over and here's the vet saying let us just do the right thing you know He's brain dead and blind. Put him down. Nope. Said, give me my cat. Show me how to put the IV in him. You know, I'll do everything you guys do. But I got something that you guys don't, and I got faith. See, I had to strengthen my faith muscle really quickly, and I started praying. And those of you who are in my Create Your Own Economy Did They group know, at that time, I think there was, we had 17,000 people in a group, and I posted Tigger's picture, a little eyeball bulging, and I asked everybody in the group, I said, please pray, pray for a miracle, pray that his, you know, his vision will come back, pray that he won't be brain dead, I mean, he got hit by a car, you know, at 17,000 people, 
a lot of them praying. I said he was probably the most prayed for cat in the world. <laughs> but let me tell you, my faith started to get stronger and stronger. And I didn't put my faith in those doctors. I put my faith, faith in the Lord. And the doctor was calling me every day. How's Tigger doing? And I was just praying. I was just, I stayed home for two weeks straight and I prayed and I had faith that God was going to heal him, that God was going to heal that eye, that the doctor would not have to remove the eye, that Tigger would not be brain dead. So I remember it was, uh, you know, I had everybody in the group praying all day. If you're in my group, 17,000 people and at least 80% was like, I'm praying, send a prayer, send a prayer, send a prayer, send a prayer. So the doctor called me. He was like, are you going to bring him in for surgery? How's the eye? So the eye has, it, it's not hanging out his head anymore. Praise God, that eye is now back in. So they had, I wasn't convinced. I was going to say they were trying to convince me he was brain dead, that there was nothing up there and that I was doing the inhumane thing. So one day the door was cracked. And they said, whatever you do, you can't let him go down on steps because he's blind and his cat, you know, he's brain dead. He'll just be crashing and everything. All right, you know, I don't know. So the door accidentally left the door open and I found Tigger in the basement. Now, to get down the basement, he had to go through two flights of steps and through a cat door that wasn't that big. I mean, those things are really small. So I called the vet and I said, you lied to me. They said, what are you talking about? I said, there's no way this cat is blind. He would have fell down the steps and he's not brain dead because he found his way down to the basement and he had to go through a small cat door to even get to the basement. Praise God. That was my faith. And I remember going, when I was going through that, see, sometimes we go through things and we don't know why we're going through something. When I was going through that, and I remember my prayer was like, Lord, why? Why did Tigger had to get hit by a car? Why? What was, what was the whole purpose of this? What was the plan? I don't understand. I couldn't understand. Many of you, are, you're going through things now and you're like, why, why, why? I want you to have faith. I want you to have faith in God. I want you to have faith in the process. But again, there is no success without process. You have to have faith to go through the process. Now, I had faith. I just didn't know the why. I didn't know why. Now I look back and I understand that God needed me to have faith in him to be where I am today. I cannot motivate and empower and inspire other people without the faith that I have. Okay? I had to have the faith. I had to have the faith when my marriage crumbled going through a divorce. I had to have the faith in God that everything was going to be okay. Okay, when I started a new business, I had to have the faith in God that he had me, that everything was going to be okay. It was like, that was my time of preparation. It's strange. I didn't think about it then. You know, I'm looking at my cat and I'm like laying in the bed like, Lord, why, 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 why? God said, I needed you have, I needed you to have faith in me. You know, and I look back and, and now I tell people, I know why Tigger got hit by a car. He got hit by a car so I could get reconnected my faith muscle had to strengthen up because it was weak and it had to get stronger to get to where I'm at now. So I'm going to ask you guys, if you're going through something, do you have the faith to go through the process? That's it. A lot of times we got our eye on the end result, but there's no success without process. So if your faith is waning, you know, this is to all the Christians out there. Pray. You don't have to pray with your eyes closed like this. No. I pray when I'm in a car. I pray when I'm in the shower. I take Max for his daily walk. I pray when I'm on my walk. You know, it's just a conversation to the Lord. So I want you guys to ask yourself, do you have the faith to go through the process? Whatever you're going through, you have to examine your faith. All right? So that is the lesson for today. Um if you're in my Facebook group or you're looking at my Facebook wall, I do post a daily motivational call in addition to the Tanya's Motivational Minutes. All right, it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you can't be late because you have to be on at 9. Now, if you don't have paper and pencil, I'm going to say this. I want you guys to put me on pause and I'm, I want you to write this down. And as fast as I talk, I am going to try to say it slow. All right, so... This is today's affirmation. Before I say the affirmation, 
Many of you guys know that I lost 32 pounds within about approximately 35 days in the month of March. If you go to my YouTube videos, you'll see I look totally different in January and February than what I did in April. So how did I lose? do that? Just go to loseweightwithtanyaortiz.com. Again, loseweightwithtanyaortiz.com. Order the HCG Drops as well as the Delgada Slimming Coffee. After you do that, send me a Facebook friend request and I will put you in our secret group. All right, you got that? Lose weight with TanyaOrtiz.com. All right, say this with me and write it down. Today, I'm operating in the fullness of my gifts and talents. Today, I am impacting the lives of thousands of people all over the world. Today, all things are working together for God's will and purpose of my life, for my life. Today, I am successful. Today, everything I put my hands to shall prosper. Today, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in my life. Today, I am awesome, great, amazing, worthy, powerful, blessed, and anointed to do that which is placed before me. Today, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Today, everything I set my feet shall be blessed. Today, I am blessed exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all what I could ever ask or think. Today, I am blessed. You guys, I want you to have an amazing and great day. I'm so excited for this week. It's the beginning of September. And I, this is just going to be a wonderful month. All right, do me a favor. I want you guys to share this on your personal Facebook wall. For those of you who are looking to lose weight and make money, I got a separate site for you guys. I want you to go to um, MakeMoneyWithTanyaOrtiz.com. Again, MakeMoneyWithTanyaOrtiz.com. Share this on your personal Facebook wall. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube videos. And on YouTube, make sure you hit the share button. All right, take care. God bless and I love you guys. Remember, do you have faith to go through the process? Bye-bye.